Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. We're going to do some updates on the MR2 Spider today. I apologize that it's been a little while since we've gone over anything with this car, but we've done a few handling upgrades and we have one more still to do. I've done front and rear strut bars as well as new tires, but I got this breastplate off Spider Chat from Fat Tires. He sells them on there, and this is to replace the Corky's breastplate and some others other folks have made. Uh, this one is solid steel construction. It's 18 pounds, which is extremely heavy, but it's super low weight on the car, and obviously the uh, chassis rigidity that it offers is going to be a huge benefit. He does supply bolts to go in, and you do have to take off a couple of brackets in order to install it. We'll go over putting this on and then look at the other things we've already done. Let's take a look. Here's the Cusco rear strut tower brace. Uh, it retains the factory X brace and you can see it kind of passes through. Here's the model number and I'll try to put a link in the description to where I purchased it from TH Motorsports. There's a lot of people that offer it though. I do like it's got the carbon fiber wrap over the aluminum, which does look pretty good. I'd give the carbon fiber probably an 8 out of 10. It's not perfect, but it does look pretty decent for cosmetics. Uh, I like the Japanese writing on it, as well as the cool little arrow pointing towards the front of the vehicle. I did leave the spacers underneath here because I didn't like how it would pull on these factory seams if I didn't. And it is a little bit of a pain to install. This X-Brace is factory, and of course this is aftermarket, and it passes through. But you have to take it all off and kind of install it as one unit, which is a little bit tight and a little bit hard to do. I really wish Toyota still offered the TRD one-piece brace. This is the front Cusco carbon fiber wrapped aluminum brace. I did take the spacers off on the front because there wasn't going to be very much meat left as far as the bolts coming out of the uh, struts. So that way, you know, it, it's nice and tight. It didn't seem like I was going to pull on any of the seams either, so I don't think that's a problem. Here's the uh, model number and everything, and again, I'll put links in the description. Now, this is a multi-piece construction. There are joints that you have to tighten, just like the rear. Um, I did notice a tremendous difference. I know there's a lot of debate on if it's worth it or if it makes any difference. This car was almost undrivable at 80 miles an hour until I did this. It would kind of start hopping in the front end, felt really unsettling. This kind of took all that away and just made it feel so much better. I do think the TRD one piece design that doesn't have these joints would have been better, but of course those are worth a fortune now. There is a guy reproducing them and that wasn't available when I ordered these. Had it been, I probably would have gone that route. So I'll put a link to his in the description too. I did forget to mention that the uh, frunk plastics that cover all of this have to be removed to put the strut bar on, but they do give you a template to trim it so that you can put it back after you install the strut bar. Uh, I just have commitment issues with cutting a factory piece that's no longer available. Also the lid here won't open you know, past about, I don't know, 20 degrees anymore once you put the strut bar on. So some people put a piano hinge on that factory lid right here to double hinge it, um, but I think I'm just going to get the little kind of pop over cover that's like soft that goes over this instead. Here are the new tires. They're Dunlop Diareza Z3s. Uh, I went with as much tire as I could get on these factory wheels. Of course, they're the factory staggered 15s in the front, 16s in the back. These are 225-45 R16s. And the tire guy said they were a little hard to get on there just because they're so fat. But I wanted to go with something as meaty as I could. Uh, I stripped the Plasti Dip off these wheels just to find out somebody had done a bad rattle can job. So I cleaned them up as best I could and resprayed them myself, but they're not perfect. Uh, but certainly better than it looked when I bought the car. On the front, we have the 20550 R15s, which again is a staggered setup from the factory. And of course, I had to repaint these as well. They handle incredibly better than the mismatched garbage that was on it when I bought it. Next, we're going to lift the vehicle up, support it properly, and we'll get this breastplate installed and see how it feels on a test drive.
So I'm really struggling to get this thing on there and I just realized how warped it is. And the whole thing teeters and I've tried to expand this hole to try to make it line up. So I think the piece of steel was bent before and now it's so bent that it doesn't line up. Also, I think it's made probably to tighter tolerances than Toyota welded the uh, nuts into the chassis with because you know there's not a lot of room there but obviously with this flat piece of metal you know there's not a sleeve there so it's pretty easy on it but with these sleeves it doesn't want to line up So it's time for our maiden voyage with the breastplate installed, so we're going to give it a go and see how it feels. I'm going to keep the top up just so there's not that much noise for you guys, uh, but it is a pretty nice day, so I could put the top down a little bit later, but let's give it a shot. Steering seems a little bit more responsive. Feels a little bit more planted, I think, even more so than with just the strut bars installed, which did make a huge difference. All right, here we go. Definitely seems like it sits up a little more because the chassis isn't bending in the middle as much. So when you turn the wheel, yeah, it's a little bit quicker feel for the steering. Still pretty noisy being a convertible with the top up, but I hope you can hear me. But yeah, oh man, yeah, every little twitch of the steering wheel has a has a more profound effect now. It's very similar to that effect when I put the strut bars on because it definitely set up better from that too. It's taking the interstate on ramp kind of quick. I mean, the biggest thing is just that on center. I mean, the second you touch the steering wheel, you can feel every little thing. And again, the whole vehicle kind of sits up when I do that because it's not bending in the middle quite as much. Yeah, it's a whole lot like the strut bar upgrade. You know, just honestly, I can feel it down lower than I could the strut bars, but still sitting up nicely. And man, I mean, the steering on this thing was already quick so it's super quick now and definitely noticeable difference so I'm impressed I have to say I'm definitely impressed
So I know we had some fitment issues right off the bat getting the part on the car, but with aftermarket parts, that's very normal. You know, Toyota's variants when they're building them, you know, is enough to cause a problem like that when the bolts go through a sleeved portion like in that breastplate. That said, uh, as far as the test drive, I can already tell a difference. Feels a lot like when I added the strut bars with it sitting up more when you steer and just the steering rack feels even tighter than it already did because there's not as much you know slush in the body as far as it giving way. Um, this car comes with a you know really quick steering feel already, so to further improve that's just awesome and I really enjoyed the part. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to purchase one yourself and help support, you know, the maker on Spider Chat. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to add I didn't include, let's put that in the comments as well, because I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks.